here today. He would thank you all for this honor. Family and friends of a Peshtigo soldier killed overseas express their gratitude after a new bridge is named in his memory. Nearly three years after Private First Class Stephen Dries died, people gathered to honor the fallen soldier. The 19-year-old Dries died in Afghanistan in 2009 after being deployed for just a few weeks. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht explains how his family hopes a bridge dedication will serve to honor all veterans. The family of Private First Class Stephen Dries already carries the image of the young man everywhere they travel, right on the side of this truck. And now at this bridge that stretches across Highway 41 in Peshtigo, they'll have a visual reminder of the sacrifice he gave. You can't say it in words. It's, you can't describe it. <laughs> it's inside feeling. Dries was killed in Afghanistan during Operation Freedom just weeks after his deployment. His mother, Dawn, thanked everyone on his behalf today before the unveiling of the plaque. Stephen would also want every bridge in every town to be named after someone that served their country. Community members petitioned local legislators to have this bridge at the intersection of Hale Road and Highway 41 dedicated in Dree's honor. It's no surprise. It, it feels great. It, it helps. Democratic State Senator Dave Hansen and Republican State Representative John Nygren sponsored the bill. They both attended Saturday's dedication. It's, it's very important. We did it for Nicole Fry in the O'Connell area when she was killed in Iraq and for Stephen uh, losing his life defending his country. With great courage, he realized his life was in great danger. Still, he performed the mission. Tree's family says his legacy already carries on in the foundation they've started. It has sent more than 7,000 care packages to soldiers overseas. Someone calls and says, hey, I need this, it's out the next day. His legacy also lives on in his young son, also named Stephen. Born seven months after his father died, the boy never met his namesake. But his family says he's just like his dad. The first time I held him, it was a flashback. The memories and the memorials have begun to fill the family's wounds. But Dre's father says they'll never completely heal. I feel the pain for all the families that have service members over there um, and service members that never came home. In Pashtigo, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Today would have been Dree's 22nd birthday. His family says it's added significance to Memorial Day weekend, which has already taken on a very deep meaning.